This is Eric Saylor, speech-language pathologist and assistive technology specialist. Today I'm going to demonstrate educational iPod Touch apps for students and teachers. I'm going to start off with the apps for students. Beginning with I Write Words, I think this is a great occupational therapy app because it requires students to write letters and it specifically shows how to form a given letter, such as the B here. It gives me these numbers that I have to follow. And I have to go kind of slow, otherwise I'll go outside of the lines and I have to start over again. B. Okay, the next app that I want to demonstrate is Wikipanion, which is the companion to Wikipedia. A student who is doing a research project would search for a word. I went ahead and already typed in the word canal, and the search will come up here. I'm starting off with just a definition. Canals are artificial channels for water. Then as I go down, it shows information about types of artificial waterways, features, and more. The last app that I want to demonstrate is Preschool Adventure. And um, let me go ahead and turn this here. OK, there are several activities here. I'm just going to highlight the sounds. And I think this activity is great for interacting with students. So as a teacher, I would ask, what does the cow say? And the student would press the cow. The cow says... Ah. Then I'd ask, what does the sheep say? And the student would press the sheep. The sheep goes... Ah. In terms of educational iPod Touch apps for teachers, I'll start off by demonstrating Twitterific, which is an app for Twitter. On here, I have my followers who tweet about their ideas and their opinions. Um, and even websites. I'm just highlighting Mark Wagner's tweet, which has information about how Governor Schwarzenegger signed an initiative to allow high schoolers to have access to free digital textbooks. So the website will go ahead and open, and the words will be kind of small, so I can go ahead and make them bigger um, in just a second here. Okay. So it's starting off just by saying how California is the first state to, to do this. Okay, the next app that I want to demonstrate is Google Mobile, and it has all the different Google apps. Uh, I'm just going to highlight Reader, which has blogs that I subscribe to. They're all pretty much educational. And I want to highlight um, this one posting by uh, Lon, who writes for No Limits to Learning. The posting is about using the we as an assessment and therapy tool. So um, my blog role is going to kind of open up here then I'll have to go ahead and access that one posting. All right, so it is right here. I believe that Lon and his AT team, they are piloting a program to use the Wii um, and in, in an occupational therapy sense, they're using it as an assessment tool um, students are trialing different kinds of Wii games, and um, they're figuring out which games would be appropriate for them, for them to learn fine motor skills. Also, they're using the Wii as an uh, augmentative, augmentative communication um, tool uh, in the sense that they're using uh, communication overlays. So let's say a student wants to design a me, then uh, he can go ahead and express what color hair he has, color eyes, what his nose and his mouth and everything else looks like. The last app that I want to demonstrate is just the calendar that comes standard with the iPod Touch. On here, I go ahead and schedule in my um, different kinds of meetings that I have. And here, it's, um, there's just an example of an IEP meeting that I scheduled on Monday after school. Now that I've finished demonstrating the educational iPod Touch apps for students and teachers, I want to acknowledge that there are obviously a lot more apps. All it takes is just a search on the iTunes store. And in most cases, they're free, if not 99 cents. So take a look and check out which ones you like.